Hi guys, it is Wednesday. It's my favorite day of the week, active recovery day. And we're going to get started with it in just a moment, but you will need one thing to prepare for what we're going to do. And that is a station up against the wall to perform the couch stretch. All right. So the couch stretch is where you put your shit up against the wall like so. And you step your other foot forward and you sit on upright from there. So all you really need is a cushion for your knee and a wall. All right. Once you get that set up, we're going to get this party started. So we've got the first portion will be pretty active. Second portion will be almost exclusively. It will be exclusively stretching. So you have that to look forward to. We're going to make the body feel real good before we ramp things up for the rest of the week. So we're going to do jumping jacks. We're going to get started in three, two, one, and begin. Just jumping jacks. Just follow my lead. We're going on a journey, guys. Yeah. And breathe. I'll just... Man, heart's pumping already. Yeah, I need lots of stretching today. The surf has been firing this past few days. So I've been working out, surfing. My shoulders need not a break. They just need some TLC. So we'll give them that today. And I'll actually throw in a little bonus. I don't like to use equipment unless you can find it around the house. Um, so we might incorporate some equipment at the very end. All right, next, we're gonna do a double lunge squat. And so double lunge squat is where you do a lunge, lunge, and then you'll squat. Let's take a nice and slow lunge. Actually, I like to do the reverse lunge. And we'll squat. And we'll just cruise right here. Turn on you know, some of your favorite music. And we'll cruise through this first portion. It's going to be just about 10 minutes of moving. And now we'll get into our stretch portion. So no need to go super fast. You can if you want to, though. All right, coming up next, we're going to do some push-ups to downward facing dog. And you can get into position, so we'll slide forward. We'll do our push-up. And press back. Ooh, so many back cracks. And take this at your own pace. We're gonna go for about a minute here. And just cruise. <laughs> And pure quality right here in our push-up where you're leaning over the edge, elbows tucked into your sides. And you're keeping your abs nice and tight throughout the push-up. All right, and we'll stand it up. And let's get a light jog in place for right now. And we'll kick the heels up a little bit higher. So you can get some butt kickers going. It's a very gentle quad stretch. Some butt kickers, get a light sweat going. And we'll do our high knees coming up next. All right, let's go for high knees now. So you get them above your hip crease. These are gonna jack the heart rate up. All right, I'm next, we're gonna do lateral burpees. We do burpee, lateral hop, and burpee. Ready? And begin. We're going to go for about a minute here. 
lateral hop. You can do these with a the push-up. You can do it without a push-up. However you want to do it today. And we'll just cruise. Just trying to get that body temperature up so I can get a good stretch later. And we'll keep going, just a few more reps. So I've actually got, I've got my eye on the timer. So you guys can just follow my lead. And rest where we're at. We're gonna through one more round of that. Take exactly five minutes. Back to jumping jacks, begin. Oh, I remember that transition in, in a workout last week. Burpees, straight into jumping jacks. Whew, tough. Ah. All right, we got a double lunge squats coming up next. Keep jumping it out for now. Find your happy place and cruise. About 10 more seconds here. And go ahead and double lunge, 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 squats. Get some, pumping some blood through the legs. Getting them warmed up because we're going to stretch them out pretty thoroughly. Coming up. Yeah, any day we do the couch stretch, my legs feel, my legs and my back actually feel really good the following day. Right, feeling good now. <sighs> All right, we got a push up to down dog coming up next and begin. Push up, down dog. Whoo, man. And just take that, this at your own pace. We're gonna go for one full minute. If you need to rest, just rest in that downward dog position. Get that breath cycling down. And go ahead and stand up and we'll jog in place. Whew. All right, we're almost there. Two more minutes. Oh, sorry, wait, did I miss something? High knees. Oh, no, no, we're good. <laughs> jog in place, butt kickers. Bye kickers. We've got high knees coming up. And go ahead, high knees for 30 seconds before we get to our final movement, which is gonna be those lateral burpees to get that heart rate up. So you get them getting heart rate up. Let's get those knees up. Now I'll take us there. All right, lateral burpees coming up in two, one, and lateral burpees for one minute. 
And that'll be it for our work today. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna focus on restoring the body today. And we're still getting our burpees in. We're doing it all. Almost there. A few more reps. And rest wherever you're at. Woo. Walk it out. Oh, yeah, not bad for 10 minutes. I actually got pretty hard at the end. Ha. Ah. Okay. Now, oh, I still need a little time to recover. All right, we're gonna get into our couch stretch coming up next. And here's, let me give you a few options. Oh, here we go. Let me set this up so you can see. Oh, perfect. So, you know, let's just do it. How about that? <laughs> Follow my lead, found a better spot. Okay, got the knee cushion. Now choose whatever side you want. So you can get a vertical angle of the shin. So that's step one. And if this, gets, if this becomes too difficult, I'll show you how we're gonna modify it. Then you step forward like that. And you step upright from there. If that's too much, just move your knee away from the wall and use that angle of the shin instead. All right, so the first stretch we're gonna do is just push your booty back into the wall or into the post. You should feel that stretch right on the top of your quad. You can even try shifting your weight left and right so you can get different angles on that quad muscle. We'll hold for about, actually, hold this. let's hold this for a little bit. We got a nice long stretch down today, guys. All right, and now push the hips forward and down. We're gonna go by feel on all of these stretches, not by time anymore. Hips forward and down. We'll rest here. Now you should feel that stretch creeping from the quad up into the hip flexor a little bit. If you don't feel it yet, hopefully you will soon. We'll go hands together, lean out to the side, same direction as that front knee, to the side. And you can pull back into extension. Keep pushing the hips forward and down while you bend out to the side and pull back. Go side and back and side and back. We'll hang out here for about 10 more seconds. And whoo. Oh, that was pretty intense. I had to give you a little back stretch right there. All right, you know, we will back stretch it out after this. <laughs> this is intense. Let's go other leg up. Whew. I'm sweating more now than during the workout. Okay, and push back. Let's get the quad stretch first. And you don't want to arch your back kind of like I'm doing it. You want to keep your abs tight and then push the, the glute back into the wall or post. Hold well, for about 10 more seconds in that quad stretch. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. And we'll go hips forward and down. Whew. Right, we'll just sink. Settle into this stretch right here. Getting that hip flexor. We're about to amplify it when we go overhead. Whoosh. 
up overhead we go and lead it out to the side and pull back extension and side and pull back inside and we'll go 10 more seconds right here Whew, I feel a tension all over my back in crazy places we're gonna keep working through it about five more seconds and hands down ah. <laughs> I like my back was gonna spasm the whole time okay don't worry we're gonna get to the back um, we're gonna hit the hips first, hips and legs, hips, legs, glutes. Then we'll do shoulders and we'll finish with the spine, guys. So let's start out with the hip rotisserie, which we'll do like this. You guys can mirror me if you want. We'll go down into our Kazakh squat or lateral lunge. We'll just hang. Hang out here for just a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna turn and drop our hips down into our Spider-Man lunge. So watch this. I'm gonna keep this foot down. And I'm just gonna turn it, and drop the hips down. Now whatever direction you turn is important because we're gonna turn one more time to complete the rotisserie. So move your hips around. And now turn this front foot, turn it open 90 degrees. You're gonna drop your hip down. And this is the final position in the rotisserie. You can turn your hips forward, turn, rotate them back. Let's hunt around for any tension. And we'll rotate back to our Spider-Man. And let's drop it down low so you can get your elbows down. <laughs> My dad the other day, he's like, check this out, Eddie. <laughs> and he showed me this stretch. I think he was like really close to getting his elbows down. I think he's 68 or something like that. He still surfs with me all the time. He loves to go out when it's huge and I get scared for him. <laughs> but he can, uh, he's got pretty flexible hips. And we'll turn our rotisserie one more time. So you want this heel down, you want this knee open to the side. And you know what, let's go for it. Let's see, let's see if I got it in me today. Here's a challenge, can you roll back? Knee drop. Yes, and then sit back into position. Woo, let's go over the top, other side. The little challenge I'm throwing out there to the crew. All right, let's hang out here, open those hips. Hunt around for tension and try to work it out. All right, and we'll turn our hips down into our Spider-Man. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Whoo. Oh. Man. Hips are really feeling it here. All right, so whatever direction you just turned in, we're gonna turn in that same direction. Just a moment. This stretch just feels too good. All right, turn your right foot open, or whatever foot's forward, 90 degrees. Drop your hips down. Whoo. Yay! Oh, all kinds of ah, tension, tightness I'm feeling. You know what? It's those speed skaters, man. Speed skaters and the jump squats. Oh, blasted my booty. That's what I'm feeling. All right, and we'll bring it back to our Spider-Man lunge. That's it. Are you guys feeling that one? <laughs> that Tabata was crazy. And drop the elbows down. Whew. All right, we'll hang out here.
for about five more seconds. Two, one, and turn it open. All right, right here. All right, should we do the test on this side as well? Yes, we should. Oh, stiffness. Yes. <laughs> Took a little momentum, but we got there. Okay, what do we got up next? The squat, okay. So bring your feet into the squat position. And we'll sink into the squat, move the hips around, draw some circles, some figure eights. Ooh, and here we go. We're gonna do one we haven't done in a while. Place your left hand on your left knee and see if you can press that knee away and get your arm to straighten or try, try to. Maybe you have some freakishly long arms or something or some tight hips that prevent you from doing that, but do your best. And we'll hold for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and we'll switch sides. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. Straighten that arm. We'll hold for 10 seconds. Yeah. And just five more seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, let's go. Hips up. Hips down, hips up, let's go wider with the stance, turn your toes in, and we're going to hang to the floor, grab your elbows, and we'll get a wide stance uh, ragdoll pose, so you can sweep, sweep from left to right, stretching out the hamstrings. And now let's grab behind your ankles, your Achilles, and pull so you can get a little deeper into the stretch. Now get your right hand across your left ankle. We're gonna take our left hand straight up in the air, and we'll see if we can pull ourselves a little deeper into this twist. Hold for five, three, two, one, and we'll switch, grab with our left hand, the right ankle, pull as you reach your right hand up and twist. Pull for five, three, two, one. Whoo, and we're gonna lower down into the pigeon pose. All right, so we'll start in our upright pigeon first. And I like to bring the hands up off the floor Sometimes prayer pose, sometimes titanic pose. And allow gravity to push you deeper into the stretch. And let's go for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and lay it down low. This is gonna be the stretch for today, right here. This is the big one after all those speed skaters. Whew. Oh yeah, this is the spot for sure. It's actually so much of the spot that is hard to relax into it. It's so tender. Let's go five more seconds. Whew. Man, it's still, still tender. I could probably use more time in there. Uh, but you know, you're welcome to hit it afterwards. Let's even things out on the other side. And we'll start in our upright emperor pigeon. And this side's super tight. Go for the Titanic. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. And we'll lay it down low into our sleeping pigeon. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the body definitely needs this today. All right, 
Okay, about five more seconds right here. Ah. Aye. Okay. Let's get into our butterfly. Am I doing it? Yep. Okay, I've got it all on the board and trying to follow along. Butterfly. What does butterfly make you think of other than a butterfly? For me, well, this could be because I got lost on YouTube yesterday watching nostalgic videos, music videos from the 90s. And Mariah Carey is my girl. And she's got an album or a song. I know it's a song, maybe it's a full album called Butterfly. Now you know, <laughs> that's what I think of whenever we, you know, whenever we do this stretch, but pretty often, Mariah Carey's the bomb. All right, and we'll go feet down. We'll drop our knees inside. We'll get our windshield wipers going on. Oh, ah. my buns. I, it's got to be those jump squats and those speed skaters. Yeah. Okay, and from here, we're going to kind of make that transition into our shoulder stretches. So we'll do an easy bridge real quick. We're drive through your heels. You open up your chest, hips up. All right, no little kids jumping over me today. You can push down towards your knees and slide back up. Ooh, those feel pretty good. Ah, the stretch is so intense for me. Last one. Hoi, okay. And now we'll get into our downward dog with that twist. Yes, or the ankle tap. So get here. You can reach back, grab an ankle, and try to pull your head through the window here. And we'll just hold as you press through that supporting arm. Press, pull, get the stretch. I'm feeling it along the back of the legs here, in my back as I'm pressing. Stretching, opening up the armpit area here too. Hold for five, three, two, one, and we'll switch it up. Whew, same thing on this side. It's really good for building stabilizing muscles in the shoulders. So press and get that pull. Try to get your head through. Hold for five. Three, two, one, and we'll drop down onto hands and knees. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get into our matrix next. It starts by digging your toes in, pick your knees up off the floor to a hover. You'll step through with the right foot. We're gonna pivot all the way around. Drive through your heels, hips go up. You're gonna reach up with your left hand you can go straight up, or you can bend it all the way over, which I like to do. I like to send it. And we'll hold here for a little bit, all right? Kind of wish I had the clock still going. Press through your supporting arm. Allow this to all stretch open. Hold for about five more seconds. Three two, one. We'll pass through our starting position. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So pivot, hips up, reach up and over the top. We'll hold it right there. And if you want to drop it all the way down into wheel pose, you can. But wherever you're at, just hold it. We'll go for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. 
Whew. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's it for the shoulders. Is it time? I think it's time. Let's do the back stuff. So you're going to hug one knee in. Pull it all the way into your shoulder. You might get a hip flexor stretch here. All the way in. Let's hold it nice and tight. And then you're going to pull it across your body as you open up your other arm. You take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can twist a little further. Let's do four more breaths. And two more. Last one. We'll come back to center. Switch, other knee comes in. Hug it in tight all the way to that shoulder. Pull it in as far as you can. Other leg remains straight. We'll pull it across the body. I like to press against the hip right here too to get an initial crack or twist. Ooh, kinda got one. All right, and we'll do four deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, twist. Three more. And last one. All right, we're getting there. We're gonna go feet up in the air. I'm gonna kick them back and try to get them to the ground above your head. So you're going here. Ooh, it's a good back and neck stretch. And we'll hold for not too long. Or you can dance around like I'm doing. And now slowly, slowly try to unravel just vertebrae by vertebrae. Grab onto your toesies. Whee! And what do you know? We're in happy baby. So in your happy baby, you can roll around. Whee! And I always get some good back cracks. Whee! From rolling around in here. You can open up. Whatever your body's calling for, this is kind of the jam right here. This is one of my favorite moments in yoga class is when we're all happy babying around. I think one of the best stretches. That's why, guys. It's one of the best stretches, okay? <laughs> As I was saying, I'm like, this might sound strange. <laughs> okay. Ha. Ooh. We're not done yet. Last thing. We're going to do a few cat cows. So cat cows are you inhale and you go arch up. And then you exhale and you round through the spine. Into our cat pose. You can shift in your body as much as you like. And let's do four more. And two more. Last one. And now you're going to bring your toes together, knees out wide. And we'll sit back into our child's pose. Pose of the children. And walk your hands out. As far as you can, sit way back. And relax here. Let's take five deep breaths. Breathe in. Into your belly. And exhale. And four more at your own pace. Do your best to relax those last two breaths. Whew. 
Oh, the body's going to be feeling super good after that. Um, this is going to be a little extra credit. You can stick around if you want. That was kind of our, our full session, but I'm going to do some bonus stuff for the shoulders because like I said, I, my shoulders have gotten torched from the workouts and the lots and lots of surfing. So I need a little extra TLC for the shoulders. So if you have a towel around or any of these bands, then go ahead and do this or even a broom handle will work. So extra credit, shoulder stretch series. If you want to join me right now, it's going down. So you get the right band. Here we go. So we'll start out. Some shoulder pass-throughs. Extra credit. Not mandatory, but if your shoulders are yearning for a little, a little extra. I got it for you right here. We're going to do about 10 reps. Nice and slow. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if, you, <laughs> if you're like, hey, I, I announced in one of my other videos that I was going to be making this uh, cauliflower rice and curry dish. Well, didn't quite happen. <laughs> I went surfing instead. And I'm like, sis, you, uh, you want to finish it? And she didn't. So, so that one is, I still got to make it. I was super excited. And then surfing, surfing got in the way. All right. And let's do a few around the world. Let's go three in each direction. So send it. Woo. And one more in this direction. Yay! Other direction. Whew. Whew. Man, I really need this one today. Ah. All right, here's the next one I like to do. Kind of a funky grip, but you can do whatever grip feels good to you. And then we go, ha! And get this stretch right here. So you can do it with the towel, with the broomstick, but the it won't have the elasticity of the band. So one of the drawbacks, but you can still do it. It still works. This may not be quite as intense. And we'll go for about, whew, let's go five more seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, and the other side. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I do that thing? Oh, here we go. I found it. On the right grip. Or like that. And you can kind of play around with your, your head position. You can lean. You can look. You can twist. And we'll go for, let's go for another five solid seconds and three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, that, there we go. That is a wrap for today. Thursday, Friday, we'll start bumping the intensity level back up. I'll see you guys then. Aloha.